Okay, I'm setting the stream up. We're going to do a quick unboxing. Check out some of the models that we've got. For 2021. 2021's campaign. And then maybe do a little list building for the Christmas battle that we're about to have. This should be just simply batteries. What the hell? Triple A's. Did I screw up and get triple A's instead of double A's? Son of a bitch. Oh no, this works for this works for double A's, I think. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? Who's here? Fear Jason, uh, D Breezy. Man, I need to make this larger. I can't see. How do I? Come on. Huh. I can't make this larger. There we go. Yeah, I got a haircut. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas too. I'm just taking a break from cyberpunk stuff. Which the cyberpunk should be done probably, let's just call it next week. That way we get that out of our hair and we get to relax a little bit. And have a little bit of fun over Christmas Day. No work. Fun. Yeah, this thing looks like a piece of shit. Yeah. Alright, well, I bought an additional charger to help charge with the batteries, but <laughs> it's funny. I just found an older charger at my my old place so kind of wasted money there but we got some new armies guys we got the golden boys yeah i'm not exactly what sure what to call them except for the golden boys right now but the emperor's chosen the adeptus custodes the most powerful army ever oh and thank you very much salazar Rocking the new, rocking the haircut. Yes, I'm back. Back to the old haircut. Okay, but let's try to open up other things first. Let's try to save that army for last. So let's, uh, let's try to open up this one first. Do a close up. Let's do some unboxings, shall we? I think unboxings are fun. We're opening presents. It's that time of year to open presents. Oh, man. This is a lot. <gasps> oh, shit. We got two armies to unbox. Damn, this is an army right here. I'm going to maybe save that. Because <laughs> that is a chaos army you can... Take a guess at what Chaos Army that is. I think this looks like it's from the same guy. You know, a bunch of my older friends have uh, expressed interest in uh, 40K when they see all the models when they come to my house. Oops. Uh, and so I just decided, shoot, that's more victims for me to obliterate in the game and so I encourage them by saying hey don't worry I'll cover it I'll get your army I'll, I'll get you an army or you can use one of the armies we already have kind of thing and so that's why I got so many armies at this point Warmaster this is just me buying older books older systems 
I really like the Epic 40K stuff because it's at a small scale and you can have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of armies and big titans without having to spend, you know, $5,000. Uh, and I think that's honestly the, the scale Warhammer should be in, uh, Warhammer 40K. And Warmaster is basically that only in the fantasy universe. <clears throat> Oh, that sucks. It's not in color. This is one of the older books. This this thing came out a long, long time ago. So you can see it's a smaller scale. So uh, I may never get to any of these. Oh, they got some color pictures here in the back. Because we have so many games to play. But I just like books and building my sort of black library of stuff. And maybe in 2022 we can do a little War Master you know, or this will probably be the shit that I'm playing when I'm old and retired. If I can find a fellow old fart in crime. I don't know if that would be Joe or Alex still. I hope so. But you never know. So let's see what else we got. Retired? Retired from working? Don't people retire? Is that a foreign concept to you? When you get super old? And then, again, this is uh, one of those things where it's just, I like to buy older system books. This one is called uh, Dystopian Wars. And I just like it because, again, it's in that epic scale. And apparently it has both land forces and ground forces. Do I hear the game system's not very good? And they're working on the third version of the game system, which is supposedly much better. But look at that. That's pretty cool. You get these little mines in the water. And a little D6, I guess, to signify there's five mines in the water. But I like reading on these systems because in the future I would like to make my own uh, miniatures game system. And I'd like to do it in an epic scale like this. You know, that smaller scale. Yeah, they're harder to paint. But you can get these massive armies and that's kind of what I want to play with is these, these massive armies. So that's Dystopian Wars. Um... So I've got the new Adeptus Custodes army today, and I've got a Chaos army today, and then I bought and then I bought a few supplements for both of those armies. Oops! Oh darn! I wish my uh, camera wasn't so sensitive. In 2021, in January, we're gonna have to make sure that the camera is not quite so sensitive. Hey, wait a minute! Am I actually getting subs? Why? Why are my subs not appearing? I'm sorry guys, I don't know why the subs aren't appearing. Maybe they're they're off or something. Let me go into this other room and see. So I can give y'all credit. I'm gonna come into this room. See if maybe I've accidentally pressed one of these buttons that, that shuts it off. Play mute alerts. I don't know. I'm gonna come back. Okay. Let me thank you. So who do we have? We have the Parmesan Don, uh, Tier 3. Wow, thank you, dude. Thank you so much for eight months. 40K, woo! And Shadow Master Dale, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing good. Just relaxing today. Reese, uh, for two months. Thank you. That was four minutes ago. Maza, one day you will realize Nurgle is the only path. Nope, <laughs> that is Alex. Alex is the Nurgle path. He's got the Christmas army, which we're going to prepare for today. Uh... Who knows? Maybe I can get the boys. The boys are coming over in like 30 minutes. I think I should get the boys to play the game right now. To go to do a run through of their game because they're going to do a Christmas, you know, battle. And I kind of want to put that video up for Christmas, like our Christmas battle on Christmas, um, which would be cool. Uh, and then just get the cyberpunk review out uh, next week, which I'm already working on it, but 
we got that going. Reese, thank you for gifting a sub. We have Mal Toramas. Uh, thank you. More AJ. All right. And we've got uh, Salazar at the beginning, uh, rocking that, that new haircut. And then just now, Darth Goku. And I heard it that time, so it came on. Uh, I'm going to give Cyberpunk 2077 another chance in February. Yeah, I think. And 13 months. Thank you very much. 10 months you've been with us in a row. 13 months total. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think it would probably be good to play in February right after the number two uh, update. I mean, it's playable now if you're on PC, um, but, you know, you're going to be running into, in the range of 50 bugs per session, 40 bugs per session. And I'm actually not joking. I've, I'm, I've been counting them. And I've been filming them. So I think one of the parts of my review is going to be a big old uh, master uh, compilation of all the bugs I ran into. So that might take a while. So my review is getting a little long. It's going to get a little longer. Uh, mega awesome man. Thank you very much. Hi, Joe. What's up? <laughs> How you doing? I like just hanging out with you guys. Just hanging out, you know, just relaxing and, uh, you know, talking. It is always good to, to chill for a little bit. Uh, okay. It's weird seeing me solo. I know. Shit, man, I ran this show for fucking six, eight years, pretty much, solo. And then we started incorporating... Well, I would always, you know, con Joe into doing stuff uh, in as far as costumes. But, yeah, it's a full-blown production. I got to hire my friends. I mean, you guys. It's all, it's all because of you guys that I got to hire and employ my friends. And we just hang out and, and uh, you know, produce content. So Joe edits videos now. Joe and me are teaching Alex how to edit videos. He's done a few. Um, Joe still edits the rapid fires. Um, Alex is really good at, at you know, talk, uh, you know, just conveying his ideas and talking it out. So he's done the rapid fire reviews, which I, which I've been enjoying. Ooh, okay. I don't know. What do you think this is? Guesses on this one. Who who's a fan of Nurgle? Fan of Nurgle in chat? Any Nurgle fans? Well, there's a Nurgle for you. We'll open that in a bit. I kind of like leaving it in the bag. So that you, you're a little mystified at what it could be. Let's continue opening boxes. I'm going to open the Chaos Army first. And then we will open the Adeptus Custodes. My Golden Boys. Which I'm very excited about. Last. Yeah, this did not open right. Reese. Merry Christmas, bro. Yeah, definitely. Wild Hunt Ode and Merry Christmas. Y'all Merry Christmas. Is it? Wait, Christmas is in four days? No, three days. Damn it. I hate peanuts. Oh, Jesus. There's so many peanuts. There's so many peanuts. There's too many peanuts. All right. I gotta get the peanuts. Over the peanuts on the side. So many peanuts. <laughs> Spider Man? <gasps> oh my god, this is a bad boy. That is a bad boy. That's a bad boy. You got it, Steppy. God dang it, that damn signal. We gotta we gotta redo the wiring on this, I think. If we redo the wiring we won't have to mess with this anymore.
Here he comes. Wow. Holy shit. That is one of my best painted models now. God damn, y'all. Damn. This one is so fucking cool. He's going to be a part of the Chaos Army that you haven't seen yet. I'm kind of keeping it a secret. And you know what? His color scheme isn't quite their color scheme, but he's just painted too damn well to not include. Is that not painted amazingly well? So I got to change the title of the stream. We got to go Golden Boys and Chaos. Plus prep for Christmas battle. There we go. I updated the stream title. Alright, let's get these peanuts. Peanuts back in the box. You know what? As much as I hate the peanuts, I think the peanuts are actually the best packing material rather than kind of wrapping the individual model. He paid a lot of attention, putting the model right in the middle. And it just will not move around. It will not get busted. The peanuts aren't too rough on the model. But when you bag them and, and circle the bag around the miniature, sometimes that can like create a lot of pressure on the miniature and break it. Um, so I think as annoying as peanuts are, they are actually among the best way to pack the miniature. Fragili. Fragili. Merry Christmas, y'all. Thank you, Alex. I've been watching your channel since 2012. I just wanted to say thanks for keeping up the quality and integrity. Love from Russia. All right, man. I got a few of these models, actually, in my 40K collection from Russian painters. They're pretty awesome. Immaculate, Big Dick Joe. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I, I appreciate that. You would be correct. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not just kidding. Uh, uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, Skull Crusher, uh, five dollars. Uh, hey, thank you very much for the generous donation. Amazing. I've been following since 2014. Sub for 82 months in county. You've been one of the original Skull, and you're definitely going to be named after one of these models, my man. And counting, everything is going good. But I've been a bit moody lately. However, I'm better now. Well, that's good. I'm happy. You know, everybody goes through their ups and downs. Playing War. Looking forward to playing Warzone. Also been enjoying my Etzer wallet. Hell yeah, dude. You got the extra. Anybody else get the extra from us? Oh, no. I think that promo code still works if you want to want to use that. Just go to extra at angryjoeshow.com. We have our own landing page, if I'm not mistaken. It is honestly the best wallet I've, I've ever owned. It's so cool. You need to upgrade your wallet. And I know for a fact you haven't upgraded your wallet in ever. So... It's one of the best get holiday gift ideas. All right, let's see what this one is. What the? Oh, shit. Yeah. It's an epic army. I love me epic scale. They look like white scars. White scar bikes. So then that means that this thing that I just threw out might have something in it. <laughs> yup. Shit. Shit. Five Marines. Looks like a multi melter. This one, we got to be real careful. 
Well, damn, dude. So we have we have one orc army. We have the box set, which comes with a space marine army and an orc army. And then it looks like I bought another space marine army, the white scars. I'm going to try to unbox the, this one a little quicker. Okay. See, at this epic scale, it's so cool because you can get so many models for much, much cheaper. You can get an entire army for like 50 bucks. What the hell? You didn't paint this one, motherfucker? How dare you? Looks like he 3D printed that or gave us an extra. Marines, 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 Marines. Be careful we're not missing any. Actually, he might have packed multiple armies in the same box because I purchased multiple armies from him. I'm very excited because I'm going back to my 40k roots and I got a surprise army. An army that does not exist anymore in 40k. And I got it in the epic scale. And it's being painted and, and shipped over. Do you know what army that is? It's a race that has been completely killed and obliterated in the 40k lore. But they're coming back on the Angry Joe Show. And I can't wait for their glorious return to the 40k universe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sirs. You got it in chat. I'm not even going to say it. So, working on one of those armies, the glorious return of a dead race. And maybe they could do some damage in 40k. A lot of bikes. This one's doing a wheelie. Nice. Whirlwinds. We got some whirlwinds. We got some whirlwinds. We got Titans. Whoa. Very cool. Titan. Titan. Green Titan. Blue Titan. Rhino. Rhino. Whirlwind. The hell is that? Blech. Super glue. I hope. No! I'm not playing no zombie game. Luckily, there's no zombies in 40k. Actually, there is. <laughs> They're not exact. Yeah, there. There's definitely zombies in 40k fantasy. And there's even 40. There's even zombies in 40k. Or. Not 40k fantasy, but just Warhammer fantasy. But there's definitely zombies in fantasy. And there's, I guess what you could call zombies in 40k. Pox walkers, maybe. Death guard. Do they really count as zombies? I don't think they really count as zombies. Damn, how many fucking whirlwinds does he, do I got with that army? This is an army that's just like... <laughs> Freaking Alpha Strike army just blow you away before you even get into your battle with me. That's the way to do it. So here is the White Scars 40k army. A lot of bikes. 
and you might be seeing us do some epic 40k battles in um you know in the future All right for the con okay so let me throw this away and we'll move on to the next unboxing where i gotta get to that chaos army gotta get to that chaos 40k army gotta see who that demon joins what faction of chaos do you think it is a little scared when i throw away this stuff not going to work. Let's get all the bikes together, all the infantry together. Infantry, the infantry, and this 40k stuff though, the epic 40k stuff, the base, the bases fall apart, all the dirt that comes off of the bases, but that's going to be something common in 40k, if you make your maps look pretty nice, you can put dirt on your maps, little rocks, little pebbles to make it look much nicer, a little creativeness to it little visual flair so just gotta get used to crap all over the place and uh, get a nice vacuum okay we got another fragile kind of looks like the same writing so maybe it's another epic 40k army kind of looks like that same writing i don't like how the box is like bleeding or or like sweating that's usually what happens when you get a box of tacos or something it's real greasy that's nasty international shipping yeah look at that we're already an expert in that guy's handwriting so this is the same this is the same guy shipped us another epic 40k army Love my epic 40k. And what kind of army do we have this time? Whoa. It's a chaos army. These look like some chaos terminators. Get the skulls up there. Are there multiple armies in here? Yes, there are multiple armies. There's, these look like a Necrons. So I got Joe his his army in 40k. Jesus, we got to change the description again. Look at that. That is really cool to see in that scale. 
Because we have this in the 40k scale. You know, over there, back there somewhere. It's really cool to see it in that scale. Excuse me. Evil Chaos Land Raider with some kind of obliterator gun on there. Chaos. Chaos Warhound. It looks like he tried, he painted them um, Night Lords. And you know what's cool about that? That's actually the Chaos Army. <laughs> That's the, the Chaos Army we're about to unbox. Oh no! Chaos Obliterator, or no, this is the one of their, like, what, Dreadnoughts? I think it's called an Obliterator. That's got to be the Necron Lord. Oh, sweet. Nice paint job on that obelisk. Necron Obelisk in the 40K scale, or the Epic scale. I love the epic scale, man. And honestly, I think in my life, I've only played like one game of epic 40K. I think it was like by myself. I can remember laying on the floor in my grandma's house. And I had bought the 40K box set, the epic 40K box set. And then just kind of going, pew, 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 you know, just kind of screwing around. Playing with them as toys because I was like 12 or something like that. And uh, and then I started reading through the books. And I was like, yeah, let me try, you know, actually rolling the dice and seeing, you know, how this is. What the hell? I'm going to paint these. Don't leave them unpainted. Don't send me unpainted shit. This is not going to. I don't need it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Um, so I think I, I just like played one game on my own. Oh, is that the, is that, <laughs> is this a Catan in 40k, epic 40k scale? I didn't even know they had something like that. Or maybe this is a custom conversion to do the Nightbringer in the 40, in the epic scale. That is really cool. Joe has a little mini army of his real army. That's awesome. I'll just get this guy to do mini armies of the armies that we have. For small stuff like this, you do need the individual baggies. Because if you just put peanuts and then this, this, these will just all drop to the bottom. So for smaller stuff, it makes sense. Wow, this is a massive chaos army. What is this thing? It's huge. Why is it bleeding? What the fuck? What the hell? What the shit is it bleeding for? Nasty. 
That's just too much paint. I think he painted it and then threw it in there and didn't let things dry. And it didn't dry inside of the box. He thought maybe this will dry in the box. But now we've got to get napkins and we've got to pat that down. So that's pretty annoying. Now we got an empty base over here. Which doesn't really look like it ever had anything on it. These epic ones, they get damaged in shipping. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tell what goes with what. These are these really rarely get damaged because they're so small. They don't have these individual pieces to break. But yeah, it's definitely a Night Lord's army. I can see he tried to paint the little, uh, um, tried to paint the little uh, wing logo of the Night Lords. I appreciate him going that in depth, to trying to to get the actual Night Lords on there. So now I have a Night Lords uh, epic army and a Night Lords uh, 40k army. But the Night Lords, I think, is the army that I'm going to most neglect. They're not my top choice. But maybe if Angel wants to come over and play them, then he can fill them out with some cool pieces. Oh, look at that. Like an obelisk. Then, or not an obelisk, but a, a gateway that uh, Necrons can come out through. Four K Epic armies are massive. So many units. This is the scale that I'm talking about. But it just looks like there's so many more chaos than there is Necron. The Necrons would get their butts kicked. I'm going to have to ask if these points are balanced against each other because it does not look so. <laughs> All right, let me get, we're done. We need to get some napkins. It's like mainly coming from the base. I don't really understand. Different color. Thank you for subscribing. Let me um finish this. Then I'll give you a shout out here. Okay. All right. Trash this. Yeah, so like something happened there. What is this? That's like that that red stuff. What the fuck? It's so confusing. So there it is. Um, you see, you got these chaos. There's just so many more chaos over here than there is Necrons. It doesn't. What are you talking about? Did you get a haircut? Yes. I got a haircut too. <laughs> Joe's here. Yo, look at this. I got a little miniature army of your Necrons. So not only do you have a a 40k army, but you have a, also have an epic army. Look, there's that little um, Nightbringer dude. That's pretty cool. But it looks like your army would get its ass kicked against this Chaos Army. There's like so many more Chaos guys than you. Says me. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking you and Alex should go against each other today. Like, that could be y'all stream. So that you just have one game under your belt. Because I kind of want to do the Christmas battle and put it out 
on Christmas. You know, we don't even need to put effects on them. <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let me thank uh, Back Commander and Kirito. Thank you very much. And Ivia Ka. Ivia Ka. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Just, hey, what's up, Angry? This is from uh, Kirito. I just want to let you know I've been sick for a month, and you posting your videos and streams keeps my mind off things. Doing what you're doing, and Merry Christmas to you yeah. and your family for Merry me and my. Christmas, man. Definitely. So I got two new armies. I got potentially Angel's Army and my Golden Boys. Uh, Angel's Army is going to be this sort of Night Lord's Army. This is cool. Those are Harlequins. We don't really have anybody to play those yet. But they are apparently one of the best armies right now in 9th cool. edition. Joe, I'm not joking. The second you come over here, this just shut off. And it was, it was on the whole. You have some kind of EMP. aura. EMP. Look at this shit. There, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, as you walked by it, this thing turned off and now it's turned on again. What the hell, man? Whatever. So as long as it works right now. Yeah, and I know that this is freaking out. Because this connection here on this camera is not stable anymore. It's a, it's a damn shame. But. Can you do me a favor, Joe? And try to move, make some space. Out, out, get it out of the way. Right, well, we're not going to put them up. We're just going to have to put them back so that I have space to finish off this video. Let's see what this is. Definitely gonna need to fix that. It's never been that unstable except for when I first made it. What the hell is this? <gasps> These are the golden boys. Oh shit. What's up, Drew? We got the golden boys. I tried not to open that one yet. <laughs> There's this is the golden boys. Let's open this one instead. Oh, it's the GPO I bought myself. I bought myself some more classified when they came into stock. Okay, so if that box was the Golden Boy box, what box is this? Shit. This is Alex's fucking professional army. This it. Wow. Oh, guys. This stream has been the most. Like, we should have broke this stream up into four different streams with how monumental this fucking thing is. This is. That's too much. I will definitely show that off another time. That's that's Alex's professionally painted Nur Nurgle army, or uh, not Nurgle army, but uh, Death Watch army. And I think this is more of that. Okay, let's do uh, the chaos, chaos uh, the chaos army. Look at how well painted this one is. You wish. 
That shit is like amongst my mess best painted miniatures. This guy. Oh no, I put fucking tape and Are you kidding me? This is gonna <gasps> Ooh, this, yeah, one, this one is so cool. This is actually pretty well painted too. Wow, dude. This guy looks straight out of an album cover. Heavy metal album cover. Night Lords. Sorcerer. Wow. Whoa. Damn. These are well painted. I got a steal. Stole. I stole money on this. Like that lightning looks like looking thing. Yeah, that's the part of the Night Lord's um, Sweet. color scheme. Wow. Whoever's angels. Hopefully Angel likes this army. I don't see why not. I'm, in, I'm even impressed by oh. this Night Lord army. I can see that. We got the logo. This is, I think, a bad in the despoiler, but I thought that a bad in can only go into chaos generic army, so maybe he's just using it as a terminator sorcerer. A converted Terminator Sorcerer. Look at... Look at the gun. Wow. This guy's shit was professionally painted. Actually... Man. Okay. I'm very, very happy. Because, whereas I thought we'd only have one professionally painted army in uh, Alex's Nurgle. Man, Chaos is getting all the love. Look at this fucking this paint job. And this guy comes with this, like, book thing. Night Lords, though honestly, the Night Lords uh, chapter uh, special power is terrible. It's terrible. I think it's like negative one to leadership uh, models around you. But in forty k, nobody cares about ninth edition. Nobody cares about the leadership stat. I guess you could try to make you run away. Maybe they'll make it better in a future update if the Night Lords actually... Or when, when we get the Chaos Codex, they'll make the Night Lords a little better. But this gun is going to do some damage right there. Break the paint. You don't need to break the paint. You break some models already. It's not true. Look at these. Look at this guy. Cool. We got a little. I don't want to say he's a raptor because the raptors have the jet packs, but this guy is evil and sweet. How much would it cost to get into Warhammer? Get like get a basic pack. Too much. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. It's too much money. Don't do it. Ten <laughs> k. It's, yeah, it's plastic crack, guys. Seriously, do not start playing this game. I've spent too much money already. GW would not be happy with me saying that. <laughs> don't play. Don't play, guys. Seriously. I'm touching nothing. Except for this. 
So here's what you could do. If you can find a well-painted used army from, you know, at your local, you know, game store or on eBay that is a complete army. Don't try to buy piecemeal, you know, miniatures. You have to be like, you know, 2,000 point army if you want to play 2,000 point games. Actually, you should start off with 1,000 point games. And at 1,000 point, you can probably get a good army for like 200 300 dollars. It's just extremely expensive. So it's not something that I recommend you do unless you can get a deal. And look at how freaking awesome this guy is. Are you kidding me? My Night Lord army might now be the coolest fucking army I got. Man. Maybe I could convince my girl to play this army because she's into heavy metal. And these guys are heavy metal. Though that might be Slanesh with the Noise Marines. But the problem with the Noise Marines is that there's lots of different versions of what they look like. And almost all of them are stupid. Except for the metal versions. The metal versions of the metal of metal versions of the miniatures with like this guitar as their gun but those miniatures are like 50 bucks a piece and to get them painted it's like you know 80, 80 bucks a piece for just one infantry so it's way too cost prohibitive but i would love one day if I can splurge to get a whole squad of those very expensive noise marines. And one day I will. These guys have cool backpacks. Jet packs. I am very impressed. Now, shit, I might take, I might do my Night Lord army. <laughs> I might take over Night Lords. No, I like my, my, my Thousand Sons so much. God, I love every army though I own. So ridiculously cool. There might be one army that I don't like that I own. But I'll tell you one army I'll never buy. Oh, look. Chaos Cultist. I don't like the Dark Eldar. I don't know why. Dark Eldar just bother me. I just... I want them all dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm racist against Dark Eldar. Well, I'll tell you what. Actually, I did find one of their units. I don't know which unit it is. It's so cool. I want to buy that unit only and then say that they're not Dark Eldar. But I don't know what unit it is. Um, I'd have to look. Yes. Prepaid. We ain't that good. Yes, uh, I don't have time to paint these models, you know. I gotta work. I gotta do Angry Joe show. Oh no! So I partner up with uh, professional painters and stuff. And then every once in a while, I'll get lucky on an army like this who one of the guys a long time ago bought a professional painter to paint his army. Or shit, if, the, if this was... Because this was just a random guy on eBay and this was really cheap. Like, my best painted army that I'm looking at right now is actually one of my cheapest armies. So, I guess nobody wants to play Night Lords. Fuck it, I'll play them. They look fucking cool. For the quality of paint job this is versus what I normally get off of eBay, this is like $1,000 level. But I didn't pay that. I gotta go look up how much I did pay for this Night Lord army. Man, these guys are so fucking cool. <laughs> the Night Lords are so cool. Drew. They're they're basically space vampires. They're the closest thing you're gonna get to um, the counts from Warhammer Fantasy. Red Wing said that's a poor excuse. I gotta work. If Henry can do it, you can do it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know this. Actors actually do have a lot of free time. <laughs> yes, they work hard as fuck when they're actually on set and, and, and then when they're rehearsing and stuff. But in between jobs, ha all Henry has to do is work on his body. So he's probably in the gym 
seven hours a day. <laughs> if you're in the gym for seven hours a day, you're probably actually destroying your muscles. So don't go to the gym seven hours a day. So how many days are you in the gym? Fifty. Fifty days in a single day? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Crazy man, <laughs> <laughs> you do it. Why do you do it? Because you said so. And Joe would never lie. No, I never lie, and I never lose. Never lost. <laughs> so you're gonna win against Alex. Oh yeah. His Nurgle army. I'll make. I'll find a way to win. I think y'all should play today. What were y'all planning on streaming, though? Oh, you're planning on finishing one of the horror games, yes. right? Man no. of Medi... Ma one of those Man of Medellin? I haven't killed anyone off yet. And everyone is going to survive, because I'm the best. The best of the best. Can you move down that screen so I can call out whoever it was? Well, uh, Ray! Oh, shit, Ray? it's Ray. We having a baby, baby? What? What are you talking about, Ray? Are you being... Are you fucking around with this? What are you talking about? Are you screwing around? I don't know. These Nurgles aren't having... Or these uh, Chaos are not having a ba baby. Uh, Night Lords... Oh. <laughs> Night Lords are actually... He's been with us for nine months. Unalive, uh, unaligned Chaos. Oh, nine months. I was like, wait. No, I didn't even look at the nine months. What? <laughs> we having a baby, baby. I was like, Ray... Who the hell you knock out Ray? <laughs> I didn't think Ray would go and do that at this time. He wants a big old headache. Ray, why don't do you like this army, Ray? Why don't this be your army, Ray? How can how fucking cool these guys are? And Ray, it's like one of my best painted armies. This army does not yet have a player attached to it. Hint hint. Ray. I do have other choices. Uh, the the Harlequins you can play. They don't have a player. Tyranids don't have a player. Damn, look at this fucking obliterator. Bustin' make me feel good. That's what I, was too. <laughs> I don't know why somebody said bustin'. Because Ray said he was having a baby. <laughs> oh, he's bustin'? Bustin' the baby out? Mm. Guys, I am super impressed with this army that I think this army might actually be painted better than my Golden Boys. And that makes me angry. Well, it doesn't make me angry because I, I guess I own both of them, but I did. I lucked out with this, guys. I did not realize how well painted these were in the pictures. But this is some serious paintwork. I hope I can get to 2,000. I think I've already reached 1,000, hopefully. 1,500. We have two repairs. All right, that's it. Now it's time for the Golden Boys. The Emperor's best. They're basically Space Marines to Space Marines. They are the Space Marines of the Space Marines. But first, there's a few more. A few more night. Knights. Lords of the Night. Oh, Ray. Um... Hey, do you want some free um, Dark Souls board game? Cause you know I was having a garage sale and or my my uh, my my old house, they were doing a garage sale for me, and I found a bunch of you know that Dark Souls board game stuff, and I was like, no way, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna give it to Ray. So I took a there's a bunch of them, there's like a bunch of models there. Oh, this guy's cool. So you'll take it from me? No, that's my jam. Free, not enough. All right, Ray. Uh, let me just show you what it is because uh, so you, so I know. We'll give it to you. Um, where is it? Where did I think I put that? 
I put it in. Oh yeah. Okay. I know where it's at. Can y'all still hear me? I wonder if you can hear me if I go all the way to the garage. I don't know, cause I just went past three doorways. It's gonna get hard to hear me. Yeah, there's no way you're. There's no way it goes this far. No way. I'm practically outside. I mean, I am outside. I got the box, Ray. Okay, Ray. Now I'm coming back in. From the garage. There's just too many walls over here. For you to hear me the whole way. So you guys probably didn't hear me the whole way. So this is the Dark Souls, the board game. English Stretch Goals Wave 3. And even if you don't like it, Ray... You could probably sell these on eBay for like a lot of money. All right. And I just don't have time to do that. So Did y'all hear me? Yes, the entire time. The whole time? Yes. Wow, that's pretty sweet. All right, Ray, I got Explorer's Expansion, which includes... These guys, the Pursuer, Mimic, New Enemies. Oh, there's got little terrain miniatures. I've got Iron Keep Expansion. And if, if you want, Ray, we can probably play this on table time with you. Which includes Sir Alone, Smelter Demon. That's me. These miniatures are badass, by the way. Enemies. That's why I bought it, because the miniatures were so badass, but yeah, the Pursuer. And then uh, character expansion. Do you recognize any of these guys from the game? I don't know. Characters. Uh, no, it's just like a deprived thief, sorcerer, mercenary, pyromancer, cleric, guardian armor, Havel's armor, black knight armor, Katarina armor, or... Black, I guess this is armor that you guys can get. Explorer's armor. So I guess this is for our char player characters. The different starting classes. Okay. And then one final thing. Phantom's expansion. This has... Sigward of Katarina. Ruined. Swordmaster. Solier of Astora. This guy looks like he's a... Like a Monty Python joke or something. <laughs> and then invaders. I thought invaders were like multiplayers coming into your game. Oh, there is one more thing at the bottom of the box. Oh, no. Like a little Dark Souls, the board game coin. Maybe you flip this in one of the phases or you just use it to indicate who is the winner but okay well then i will save these for you I'll put these under here next time you come over I'll take those i got a lot of board games to get rid of so if any one of my friends wants a board game come over to my house <laughs> take them please i'm gonna go take doom no, that one we're keeping. Ooh, there's few board game there's a few board games that I'm keeping. So there's my Night Lord army, and it could be led by this demon prince. That one is a Nurgle. We we haven't even opened this one yet. This one I, I bought. But once I bought this before I bought that huge professional Nurgle army, so now I don't want it. <laughs> but which is a mistake, but it's cool as hell. Looks good. It's custom too. It's like a. They don't know. The spider doesn't normally have this character on it. So. Pretty sweet. So. Now, just an option for Alex. He can take that as an option. He's going to need it. going to crush him. With your Necrons? Yeah, yeah, you are. I mean, you have the god of your Necron. 
But I mean, I gave. Oh, thank you so much for your uh, resubscription of three months. But I gave Alex the the god of his essentially. Where's art? Right. Golden boys. Here we go. Who can possibly take down that chaos army? These guys. These guys are basically cheating. This game, the, the golden, these, these Adeptus Custodes, everybody's going to hate me when I play them because, like, they're literally two plus everything. So, like, unless I roll ones, I'm doing what I want to do. So, I don't understand. Play them. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm fixing <laughs> to do. I'm like, what'd you say to me, Matt? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, I'll beat your fucking ass. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you had to run out and buy a new army. <laughs> no, I'll fucking beat you with the Blood Angels. I want a rematch. Frank, I have no idea what I'm doing, Frank. But that's normal, right? Yeah, I mean, Joe doesn't have any idea what he's doing... All, at all times True. and then he figures it out and then he becomes one of the best at it <laughs> you know yeah. just like uh what is it um damn now i want to play some uh i want to play some modern warfare <laughs> this is a new update today for real i thought they were doing a season what do you mean a new update tell, tell me about it Watching zero flippy play. Wow, these bases are super heavy. They're like professional. I don't know. Are they for? What's up, Joe? Each one of these are super professional. And yeah, this is it. This is it. All right, the Golden Boys. Let's bring out their biggest model. This is actually from Forge World. Dude, that was the last. Save this one for last. Got <laughs> a uh, little tease. I'm gonna tease him. Sub Samurai Queen. Careful, careful. I was hoping for a really good paint job. And it is. Wow, really well painted. All right, let's get the camera down here. This is Henry Cavill's personal army. Henry Cavill. I keep calling him Cavill, but the pronunciation is like travel. Do you remember that video, Joe? How do you pronounce Cavill? It's Cavill. So this might be Henry Cavill himself on the battlefield. Don't kill him! I'm gonna name my army Henry's Boys. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> it's Alex! Fuck. No, something like that I can handle. Oh no, see that's why you don't fucking wrap these in the fucking... You don't wrap these too tight. What? This is what happens. You you just fucking. Damn. What did I say, Chad? Like I was like, when you wrap those, you they're so tight that they will break the models. Damn it. I just put them in peanuts or put them in the individual what? things. Oh my god, this guy is fucking sweet. Wow. Whoa. Damn. Fancy as hell. These are the Emperor's finest. The finest that the Imperium has. That's this is this is definitely S tier. Nice. Okay, so they are up to par to my night lords. They might be even better, but you know, the Golden Boys have a relatively simple paint scheme. This would look badass though. I like and that. so they did a lot of uh details on the rest of the Yeah. 
well worth it. The only thing I don't like, and I've seen other Adeptus Custodes, the, the blades. You can paint these blades a little cooler. This one's like a black and green kind of thing. I'd want to go with blue, like crackling. I do that for you. Uh, you will never touch. <laughs> you will never touch these, Joe. Ever. <laughs> Ever. If Damn you it. if you manage to kill one on the battlefield, I will let you remove them from the battlefield. But you'll never kill one because their armor is two plus. We'll see about They're that. all arm the armor save of two plus. We'll see about that. Your army will be nullified. <laughs> 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 if you're wondering why we're laughing so much, I had a stupid joke. I've just been trying to get Joe to watch Star Trek for the longest time. And at the time, I was watching Star Trek Voyager, so I was trying to get episodes that Joe might like. So I picked an episode with Chakotay, which looks like Joe. And apparently it was this episode where he goes and he fights this war where these people on this planet, they don't say, we're going to kill you. They say, we're going to nullify you. I'm going to nullify you. <laughs> we will nullify stuck him. stuck with me ever since. It stuck with me, too. Nullify. <laughs> Dude, these are fucking amazing, guys. You even put a little fucking terrain element on the it. Lamp? Is that a fucking lamp? <laughs> oh, it's not a fucking lamp. Damn it. That's a good fucking lamp. We could have Alex rig you a lamp. <laughs> yeah. Get a little LED. Now, the only thing I think he fucked up on is this right here. He fucked up on the face on this guy. It's really, yeah, it's really bad. So uh, we need to put a helmet on this guy. So again. I don't like what he did, the, the texturing on the blade. And then what is going on with his face here? It's Freddy Cougar. He looks like he took somebody's skin off. That's Freddy Cougar. It's like a secret chaos. That was the only thing that kind of concerned me in the pictures. But maybe I can have another guy kind of fix that. Or I can try to fix that. Mmm, you know, fancy, the fancy way this guy's holding his sword. I love each base here. Damn. Never lose. I will never lose with this army. Do you hear me? I am declaring now that Angry Joe will never lose with his golden boys. Meaning, he will never play his Golden Boys, ever. My Golden Boys are display only. Do you hear me? No one will ever tarnish the record. And if they do, I will punch them in the throat. I will never lose! Don't you even say that. Don't you even type that four-letter word in my chat right now. See, we need to give him a helmet like this. If I can find another helmet like that, stick it in there. We'll be good. Never lost. Joe, I'm never losing with these. You can only beat me in my dreams. In your dreams. <laughs> Wait, my dreams? Oh, shit. It's well, a nightmare. Nightmare if I'm actually losing. <laughs> God, these are so cool. No you wonder. Win, huh? No wonder this is Henry Cavill's army. They're the coolest. Henry's got a good taste, Joe. Superman. Can beat him. You can beat Superman's army? Yep. Oh, how did this guy get over here? Oh, shit. Man, I'm so happy I went with the gold scheme because I was considering going uh, Shadow Keepers. Golden Boys, Shadow Keeper, Adeptus Custodes are black and gold. But I have black and red for my personal Space Marine army, so. Yeah, it's way better. The gold is like everybody knows the Custodes is this gold. Look at that. 
Look at that. My God, he's so beautiful. These are works of art. My golden boys are literally works of art. Do we got a lamp? No lamp. We just call that a lamp. Gives me uh, vibes of the Roman legionnaires. Yeah. Looks expensive. Yeah, that's why he won't let me touch it. <laughs> yes, this this army is expensive. But actually, I spent the most money on Alex's army. It's either Alex's or Joe's that is most more expensive. This one I actually managed to get a, a good deal on. But you don't want to know how much Alex's army is that his his new <gasps> No The The bag destroyed this one. I'm gonna have to have Alex see if he can He's holding it too hard. He crushed it. God damn it, why would you fucking pack him like that? bought so many miniatures of ebay like i know exactly how to pack them now <laughs> and i like the some perspective that you have that no that no others would have unless they're packing them and receiving them constantly you don't pack them like that see look it's bent them and these are the more Terminators of the Adeptus Custodes. You'll you'll never kill these guys. Never loves. All right, one of their my ass blasters could take him out. One of their tassels fell off. It's uh, I gotta make sure that I don't lose that. Where's his? <laughs> he lost it already. Where is it in? It's somewhere in your. There side. it is. Yeah, I see it. So I got some repair to do there. I don't have any special characters because I hope to make a, a custom of my face. This guy is actually not a special character. He was a, like an exclusive miniature that they gave away at one of the Games Workshop um, uh, in-person events. And see, he did a much better job at painting this guy's face. Much better job than that other dude. Right? Mm -hmm. Way better than this guy here. I don't know if he's like, all right, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to paint no more. Something. Maybe it's just like his ear. Maybe it's this, the mold, the sculpt itself, that he looks like he's wearing somebody else's face. So we got to fix that guy. I don't like that guy in my army. I am Del Delius. Thank you so much for subscribing. All right, but it's not over yet because one of the greatest parts of this faction. What are those? Exactly. Ah, okay. One of the best parts of this faction is how powerful these bikes are. These jet bikes are amongst the most sweet fast attack that you can ever have my wow my god jeez that is so sweet jousting S tier y'all magnetic boy Check this out. Magnetic. Genius. <laughs> Worth every fucking penny. Wow. 
This is fucking sick. You put this in a bag, you motherfucker! Luckily, he's pointing down. And his spear did not seem to get damaged. Got nice boots. Necron. Joe's the Necrons and the uh, Space Marines. He has. Space Mariachis. He's got the Space Mariachis army. Top quality stuff. Damn fine. Mofo Silver, what's up? Mofo Silver. Hey, Wilbur, Mofo Silver. Whoa, Silver. Ooh. And this guy, he tried different... He tried a little different flares on each one. I don't know. See, these guns are painted a little different. Oh, no. He just got a little got a little gold wrong on that that's the only error I've actually seen this whole this whole time compared to this which this one is painted correctly how come this isn't in gladius adeptus custodes because they gladius doesn't have 22 different 24 different factions sure. <laughs> they're in, they're they're like Joe, the developers of Gladius, they're like seven guys. <laughs> you expect them to do... Seven amazing people. You expect them to do like 30 years worth of Warhammer work. Yes. <laughs> In a matter of two years. Yeah, well, if these guys were in it, you, you wouldn't lose. I mean, they just kill everything. The, accepted. the problem with this faction is that because they're so powerful and you could like not kill them, it's there there's so few of them. So like this is a 2000 point army with barely any miniatures. So I can get overwhelmed, I can get outplayed on the objectives, which I shouldn't be saying out loud. <laughs> so I have to like fucking make sure I kill everything before you could do all right and i think this is the um captain on the bike let's say how he did it if he did a good job on his face on on this captain yeah looks like cable yeah looks like cable i don't know why he did such a bad job on that other one or if this guy just looks Maybe it's just him. It's just, he's a secret chaos. I think he, he's like secretly <laughs> infiltrated the Adeptus Custodes. That would be heresy. Looks very intimidating. These guys never lost, Joe. Well, never never lost. Well, they never played either. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Joe. You can't lose. Never play. <laughs> I will never play them because I never want to lose with them. I seriously, I will cry on stream if I play them and I lose. So you I'm not the touching them. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> All right. There's one, one more, one more miniature, the biggest miniature here. They're big ass bad boy. <laughs> That a magnet too? No. He did not magnetize it. Oh, actually, no, I don't think he did. <gasps> mm. 
this is basically their dreadnought. And this is like a dreadnought's dreadnought. This thing will mess you the hell up. Right? But, um, yeah, I actually bought a few more Golden Boys. I have another Dreadnought and a squad that you can only get from Forge World that actually shoot. Because the thing about Adeptus Custodes is they don't have a lot of shooting. They're, That's what you're going to do. You're going to try to keep a distance. Right. Well, I'm going to get one squad of the Sagittarius, Sagittarius Bolters, like the most legendary, you know, bolt guns that the M M uh, that the Imperium has. They give them to those guys. So I'll have those guys and one more Dreadnought, and that completes this army. I don't think I can field them all at once, but I can trade out guys. So there is the Golden Boys. And then back behind them, we had the Night Lords. This section of Night Lord and that section of Night Lord. We got a lot of Night Lords. So we've got multiple armies for the campaign and i literally cannot wait to play honestly i think we should try to play some today or we'll play modern warfare i don't know because i'm like joe i think i'm just gonna get the cyberpunk review out next week is kind of what i'm oh my gosh it's christmas you know family's flying in I just want to relax. These are extra pieces. Alrighty. That's it. Oh, I also have another game mat from uh, gamemat.eu. God, I love their, their mats. They're the best mats. And this is the small game Here's site. That this is the best mat. <laughs> mat even in chat. I don't know. All right, well, that's when we play our 1,000-point game. So I think that y'all should play a 1,000-point game. In fact, what we can do is check out Joe's Space Marines. Joe, bring your Space Marines up here, and I can calculate exactly how many points they are. So I can build you a 1,000-point force. All your space marines are. I can't lose this chat. This might be the last time you ever see this because I know I'm going to lose it. This is a plume. I'm going to put it. Where am I going to put it, Jan? I'm going to put it next to my sound board. No. I'm going to bring the two broken models over there. This guy needs help. This guy needs help. This guy definitely needs help. These three, it's like all the Terminators. Oh my god, it almost snapped off. Their axes are jacked. Fix, fix those guys. I'm gonna have to pin them. I'm gonna have to act, act, have Alex pin them. I don't know how to pin things. I've never pinned anything. Did you you finally picked something for him, and put the arms on and glued them on, or is this guy always assembled? Because you had one of these guys that was not assembled.
build here. Alright, chat, I'm not going to be able to see you for a little bit because uh, I need this TV in order to use this iPad. Or actually, it was working. Interesting. Can I go back or will it have a mortal error? Okay, so we're going to take Joe's, kind of keep in your mind which units that you definitely want to use. Drew, you pause your clocks because he's getting a pig. <laughs> They're off camera. Dang it. Okay. Okay. So uh, here's how we'll do this. We'll do and we'll do a thousand point game so that it's easy for y'all guys to finish and play. So we're not five hundred. 500 points is is probably too tiny let's let's just build the roster real quick okay well uh you want to see what a 500 point looks like first okay is space marine okay we'll do a combat yeah i mean all of these take a couple hours so then we go imperium we'll do combat patrol 500 3 cp see 3 cp that i'll give you a little counter and you can spend those to re-roll dice yeah. or play stratagems. Okay, so it's Space Marines, Combat Patrol. We click on it, and then we add. It's going to be a patrol detachment, and then your Adeptus Astartes, which is the Space Marines. Okay, so then now you go in and you do individual units. First things first is you select the chapter, right? But that's tough because I, I want your guys to be the most overpowered Space Marine chapter so that, you know, we really piss off Alex, right? Yeah. So it's like, let's click. Okay, why are some of these locked? <laughs> pay for it? No, it, yeah, you, I, but I have it paid for, but sometimes the app doesn't understand that I, I have it paid for, and so, it, like, it fucks it up. So I need to find a way to jumpstart this app or something so that it recognizes the fact that I have paid for it already. It's the most annoying thing. It's in the, the, the thing itself is in beta. Uh, and so it still has, yeah, see, it doesn't think I've bought anything. It's so annoying. I signed in too. Fucking technology, man. It works on my phone. Let's just do it on the phone then. Seriously, technology. You, Recharge. You know it's it's because it's, it's, you're here. I forget. I forget. It's true. You're here. It, 
It's never done this before. So I'm gonna go downstairs, sort it out. Maybe just need some distance. I don't know what happens when Chuck is here. What the hell? Of course, you know, it's like you get everything all set up real nice. And then, you know, this shit just don't work, you know? It's like, what? Why are you being such a asshole? I, I could fix it. Joe's gonna leave the room for a little bit. That way, we eliminate that variable. And that is a very real variable, by the way. You think it's not, but it is. Yeah, Joe just got his army. He's got Necrons and he got a Space Marines. Welcome. Your awesome army start here. As a subscriber, see, okay. Look, I'm a subscriber. See? I'm a subscriber. You can now use this app to check reference for your units. So, if I'm a subscriber and I don't, then I have the Blood Angels. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so... Hold on. Let's just double check 100% to make sure it works. Before we call Joe back up here. So we can break something else. <laughs> Control detachment. All units. All units. All units. Select chapter. All right, Joe. Joe. Suggestions from chat on what Space Marine chapter Joe's a Space Marine should be. We have Astral Claws, Black Templars, Blood Angels, Blood Ravens, Caracharaldons, which I've never heard of, Crimson Fists, Dark Angels, Death Watch, Flesh Terrors, Imperial Fists, Iron Hands, Minotaurs, Raven Guard, Red Scorpions, Salamanders, Space Wolves, Ultramarines, and White Scars. I want the most overpowered one, the one that's going to give him the most power. And I think that might be Salamanders, because I think Salamanders right now in the meta are ridiculously powerful. That's what I was actually going to make the angry army, the Salamanders, if purely for <clears throat> the negative one AP. What do Salamanders do that make them so powerful? Well, when a unit with this tactic fires Overwatch or is chosen to shoot or fight with, you can re-roll a single hit roll. And you know how bad Joe is with rolls. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him about each of these factions. So we'll get we'll get him to go. We'll get him to figure this out. D and D hits. Thank you, Yo Joe. Thank you. Let me let me give some shout outs to people here. Uh, Dragon Heart. Thank you for the biddies. You guys are such wa passionate Warhammer fans that you should try reaching out to Game Workshop about a sponsorship. Uh, like, what would they give us? They already give us these books, so technically we are partnered with them. I have reached out to them, and then one day on the phone they were like. Uh, what do you need from us? And I didn't know what they meant. Did that mean a sponsorship? I was like, I got, I have everything I need. I probably should have said, I need a million dollars. <laughs> right, Joe? The Nido King King. Thank you. Six months prime streak. I am Daedalus. Mofo Silver. Thank you. Dragonheart. If you got awesome board games like Dark Souls that you don't want anymore, how about doing giveaway for your fans? No, I, I, the giveaways, the, I've done some of those way in the past. It was like six years ago. And what ended up happening, happening is like the people that win are like in like these countries where it was like, like $95 to ship to. I was like, holy shit. And then I shipped it 
And then the guy said he never got it. And then he got super mad at me. And he was like talking all this mad stuff on the internet. I was like, what the hell, man? I sent you. It's, it's, it's crazy. I, would, I like to do giveaways if they're digital codes. That way I can confirm that I got it to you. And you got it. And there's no problems. And nobody screams at me. And nobody gets mad at me. And plus you can get more codes than you can boxes of things. All right, Joe. Here we go. So. Holy shit, Flippy. Thank you Hi. for the dance sub, Flippy. You guys get a win? What were they playing? Warzone. Today? Yeah. All right. So, here are the sub factions of Space Marines. And you know, every Space Marine faction will have its own bonuses, right? Yes. You want to pick the most powerful bonus. Yes. Okay, so the Black Templars. When a charge roll is made for a unit with this tactic, you can re-roll any or all of the dice. So they re-roll charges. In addition, when a model with this tactic would lose a wound as a result of a mortal wound, which is like a special kind of wound. So you have that, like, psychers will hit you with mortal wounds. Especially powerful weapons can sometimes do it, but there's not very many weapons Does that, that do it. You know, I don't think so. Roll 1d6, <laughs> and a 5-plus that wound is not lose. lost. Uh, Black Templars, they don't like psychers either, so you're not going to see a lot of psychers on that. Blood Angels is one that I already have. I, I don't recommend it unless you go with a purely... Actually, Blood Angels might be good for you because you have a lot of close combat guys. Uh, let me just read Blood Angels. When resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model with this ability, like your... What do you call these? Um, what? Sombrero? No, your, your mariachis. <laughs> oh, you hit somebody with these, with these guitars and mariachis. Anyway, Blood Angels is um, in a turn in which that model made a charge move, was charged, or performed a heroic intervention, add one to the wound roll. So you do one more damage. Or no, you add one to the value of the wound hit. Like, say, for example, you need fours to hit. It'll be threes to hit. I'm going to use my pistolas. When a unit with this ability advances or makes a charge move, add one to the, that roll. So, like, if you roll a nine-inch charge, it's a ten-inch charge. Okay. So, Crimson Fists. When resolving an attack made by this model, when it contains at least five or more models, then... That target's model unit add one to the hit roll. No. What? I know. Dark Angels. Reroll all hits of one for attacks made with ranged weapons by models in this unit. So as long as it did not move. So if you roll ones, but you can't move. And these guys need to be constantly moving. At least these guys. But these guys over here in the back can, can, can benefit from that. Okay. So uh, Death Watch. Each time a model in this unit makes an attack against an enemy unit with heavy support, Lord of War, or dedicated transport, battlefield roll, re-roll a wound roll of one. Ah. If you selected the heavy support, Lord of War, or dedicated transport, battlefield roll for the Xenos Hunters chapter, each time a model in this unit makes an attack against an enemy unit with that battlefield roll, you can re-roll the wound roll. So it's basically a lot of re-rolling like the wound rolls, but it's like mainly geared towards aliens. And I don't think chaos counts as aliens. How about Flesh Terrors? When resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model with this ability in a turn in which it made a charge, was charged, uh, add one to the wound roll. In addition, when resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model in the unit on an unmodified wound roll of six, improve that weapon's armor penetration characteristic by one for just that attack. So it's going to be a lot of bookkeeping kind of thing. I'm going to move on. Imperial Fist. When resolving an attack made by a ranged weapon with a model, this target does not receive the the target does not receive the benefit of cover. If that attack was made with a bolt weapon, an unmodified roll of 6 scores one additional hit. So for all of your ranged weapons, the target does not receive the benefits of cover. And if you roll a six, you get one additional hit. So where are our dice? Let's have you do a little example. I don't know. It's up to you, Joe. Like, let's say you got four. And roll over here so the camera can see it. So any sixes that you rolled. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, we're I probably. Didn't play to my ability. <laughs> this is my ability. So, I'm liking the one that I can. Pass. What are you wrong? Liking the reroll one. one. I don't move. Okay, hold on. All right, let's keep going. Iron hands. When a model with this tactic loses a wound, roll a d6. On a six, that wound is not lost. D6? <laughs> you have to roll a six on a D6. Man, I never even Here, a let's six. say let's say your iron oh, hands. Roll these rolling. again. Let's say you take four hits, see if we can get a six. I don't think these even have sixes in here. Nope. There's no sixes in here. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> oh, no sixes. Another terrible, terrible roll from so other I'm, Joe. I'm leaning towards a re-roll. You're gonna need to find some way to do the re-roll, I think, is gonna help Joe's the most. So I'll focus on the chapters with the re-rolls. Uh, because that Iron Hand one was you ignore wounds on sixes. Uh, and when you do Overwatch, this one's kind of nice. Fives and sixes hit instead of sixes. Overwatch is when somebody's charging you, you get one opportunity yeah. to you put some bullets in. No, I don't see a five. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Minotaurs. Um, but do 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 you for all we yeah, see. Five or six. Five or six, baby. Here we go. You got two fives, so yeah. you would have fired. You would have got two hits firing at the person incoming. All right, Raven Guard. Uh, these these are like the emo guys. When resolving an attack made with a ranged weapon against a unit with this tactic by a model that is more than twelve inches away, that unit is treated as having the benefit of cover to its saving throw. And if that unit is not a vehicle and is entirely on or within a terrain feature, subtract one from the hit roll. So you hide easier if things are shooting at you from more than 12 uh, inches away. When resolving attack. Mm. Okay. Benefit of cover to its saving roll. So you get automatic cover everywhere. Um, kind of thing. If they're more than 12 inches away. The Raven Guard slip through the shadows. Have seen specters barely visible to the foe. Okay, so let's put that one on... Uh, in our brain, so Raven Guard, and then which one was the re-roll, re-roll one? I think it was a blood flesh, or not, a blood. Black Temple. Black. No. Blood Angels? Was it the Blood Angels? No. Uh, it was Dark Angels. Reroll hits of one for attacks made with ranged weapons by models in this unit, so as long as it didn't move. But you haven't even rolled ones either. Yeah, I have. That was my first one I did. Oh, okay. Number one. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, so or was it Iron Hands? No. Okay, Minotaurs, Raven Guard. Okay, Red Scorpions? No. Salamanders. This is the one that I think you need to pick. I'm going to read that one last. Space Wolves. Each time a model with this tactic makes a melee attack, if that model's unit made a charge, was charged, or performed a heroic intervention, which is kind of like a mini charge, so they're just trying to incorporate all charges, add one to the attack's hit roll. So you, you get to increase the dice by one. So this like would be a that. four, four, three, seven. and seven. <laughs> seven. Uh, units with this tactic are eligible to perform heroic intervention interventions as if they were characters so it means that say this unit was was charged and units within three heroes within three get to do a heroic intervention which brings them into the fray but space wolves all of their units are heroes essentially when they when they you know do like these counter charges where they can go do that so space wolves uh ultramarines add one of the leadership characteristic of your models bah. Units with this tactics can shoot in the turn in which they fell back. And that's if you're losing the combat and you decide to fall back. You can still shoot. Never lost. But next. if they... Next. <laughs> and then finally, White Scars. Units with this tactic can charge in a turn in which they advanced or fell back. Models with this tactic do not suffer the penalty for advancing and firing assault weapons. So that's really good because you can advance, which is like this very, very fast movement, and then you can still charge, which is, like, insane. Uh, so that's to get you in combat super fast. Uh, do you have a lot of close combat, guys? Well, you've got two units of them, and we don't really know whether you're going to go full on in the close combat. So let me read you the one that I think is probably the best for you. Salamanders. Mm -hmm. When a unit with this tactic fires overwatch, like I said, if somebody's charging you, uh, or is chosen to shoot or fight with, so, wow, 
in all of those instances, you can re-roll a single hit roll. And you have, and you can re-roll a single wound roll. So not only can you re-roll a single hit roll, but you can also re-roll a single wound roll, because remember you'd roll into hit, then you roll into wound. And then, and this is the most powerful one. When resolving an attack made with a weapon that has an armor penetration characteristic of negative one against a unit with this tactic, that weapon is treated as having an armor penetration characteristic of zero. So you have basically plus one armor to every single guy in your fucking army, which is insane. So that's why in the meta, salamanders are the most overpowered. So I think we should go with salamanders. So say, for example, let's see you roll. Go ahead and roll here, Joe. Yeah. Let's do Space Marines versus uh, Nurgle. Give one more, um, one more dice. So let's say you had a tactical squad of five Marines and they're firing um, at, at the enemy. Go ahead and roll. So I think Space Marines roll on uh, um, their ballistic skill, I think, is 3 plus. So you got four hits. And guess what, Joe? Your chapter tactic allows you to re-roll one of those. So re-roll that. So look, it already Seven. helped you. Of course, you rolled another one. <laughs> and then re-roll these. Let's say you're you're hitting something with a strength of four. And you've got a or toughness of four. And you've got a strength of four. So roll fours. <laughs> you miss everything. Okay, you can re-roll one of them. Let's see if the re-roll will help you. Yeah, the re-roll helped Joe. It turned him from <laughs> no hits to one hit. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Damn. <laughs> How come every example roll you've done so far has been awful? I'm trying to get good. Awful. Get good, son. <laughs> Oh my god. But it actually did help him. This is the one chapter tactic that I think is gonna help him. One is and better then, than zero. And then plus you have plus one to all your armor always where you don't have to do anything. I think is gonna be the best thing for you because you don't have to do anything. I want you to try again, damn it. What happened was is you're using multicolored dice. Joe, put those dice away and use the green dice because the green dice are other Joe's dice. I bought those okay. dice specifically for you, for your green Necrons and your green Space Marines Mariachis. So these are the dice that Joe should be using. You shouldn't be using any other dice. Here we go. Well, one of them fell off, so you rolled. Yeah. Three hits, and you get to re-roll that one of those twos. Stop rolling. Oh, I know it's awkward because I'm, I'm forcing you to roll over here. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Four hits. I got good. Now re-roll those. So it was the dice. Now roll those for the to hit well, or to wound. Hit. Remember, it's to hit first and then to wound. So four Fours. And Fours and above. Oh, shit. Pressure's on. What pressure's Check. on? Look away. Are you gonna kill Alex? No, Alex is away. Alex is laughing at you. All right, Joe. Yeah. Three hits, and remember, you have to re-roll re -roll one of them. Maybe, possibly four hits. Nope. Ah, close. But that's a lot better. So yeah, these dice are gonna be your dice. So you get three of those. Jeez. And then when people are shooting at you, you ignore negative one, which I think a lot of Alex's weapons have negative one AP, which you reduce to zero. So we're going to choose Salamanders for other Joe, even though that's my faction. But I don't care. I want to make Joe the most powerful. Okay. Yes. So first things first, we need to start with your um, a captain. So I think this this guy would be your captain, and he appears to be just a normal captain. That's me. That's gonna be you. Maybe can I shoot? <laughs> In this example, he probably is you, Joe. Okay, so he's a. I'm gonna mark him as a captain. Um, a captain's only eighty-five points, so he's relatively cheap. And then uh, we're going to add some infantry. How many do we have? So we need at least one squad to make it legal. What? What are you talking about? We are legal. Legal. 
Who said otherwise? <laughs> You're legal. <laughs> We're gonna make your squad legal. Papers with papers. <laughs> You're illegal. Goddamn papers. You're illegal right now. <laughs> okay. We're getting Joe to 500 points so that you and Joe can face off today. We're gonna do a, g a game. Okay. Going down, son. <laughs> All right. I so. <laughs> Alex is here, but I think he's off camera. Yes. You see his hand. I don't see his hand. All right. So um, we got one squad of these Marines. Joe, you wanna you want the burrito launcher, right? You got yeah. to have the burrito launcher. Let me get the burrito launcher. I'm gonna be stuffing mother truckers. So so far in his 500 point army, he has one captain. And Do then. I have 500 points. I don't know if I have a 500 point list. Yeah, you, we're doing, this is the Christmas example, right? But we'll make you a, a 500 point right now. Why does this guy have one mariachi thing? Okay, he's in. Hello, I don't know where the mics are, but hello. In front of him. Oh. Oh, wait, you haven't had a mic, y'all haven't had mics on this whole time. I just got here. <laughs> well, Guess Joe's been here the whole time and I never got him uh, a fucking don't go mic. go shopping today. Today fucking sucked. I bet. Oh, shit. You gotta be loud. No. Hi! Feliz Navidad. Guana Guish? Hey! Sick? Oh, you mean broken. That's fine. Broken, I'll deal with sick people. Your desk because I'm stealing mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, then you actually keep this one because I just spilt something on the old one, so I should keep, <laughs> I should keep the one that I spilt something on. Go put this on. You get shocked. My crotch? My crotch shocked. Hello. Testing. Testing. Papa, can you hear me? How are we doing on... We hear you. Yeah. All right, what's broken? Testing, testing. This uh, is bent. The, my fucking golden boys came in. They're oh, your spears are fucked. Yep. Because, yeah. Oh, no, they're not bent. That's broken. And then this one. That one snapped off. Yeah. I can fix it. Yeah. And somebody's did. tassel on their head is gone. Yeah, that's so. I said I could do it. He said, no, don't touch them. Yeah, don't touch anything. You're fuck everything up. Edward, thank you so much for your donation. The graphics on this game are so lifelike, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Wonka, 45, I'm going to need you to uh, shut up and not mention that ever again. Shh. <laughs> oh, OJ and Alex are too loud. Oh, well, this is OJ and Alex. Maybe if they I have tell different this mics spur. than I do. We're going we're gonna to get all of our mics. Good. So they need to talk. Okay. Hello. But Joe has pulled the mic away from his mouth so but yeah. far. Well, I no moved it because they just said it was I was loud, there's so I moved no it. Way. Where's my clippers Test. and my drill? I didn't touch Why anything. All right, we have to prep for surgery. What's that? All right, how are they now? 
Joe, say something. Okay, hey, what's going on, guys? OJ, you talking Alex, about do you ever again? stream? Did yes, you? we stream Misadventures. We try to do it Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Better? But probably not. Our Misadventures today is going to be some Warhammer. OJ is good. Yeah, I know I'm good. Thank <laughs> you, Angry Mexican. Two sounds, what's up? Angry Mexican, are you also more tamale than man? Because I am. I've had six tamales every day for five days in a row. What is a tamale? What is the burrito launcher, Joe? Is it going to be a heavy can? A, yep. A heavy flamer? Grab it's be can heavy. And last can. Heavy in calories as well. Heavy in calories. What look for? The drill. Uh, I thought I saw it over there. By the table. Find it. Bam. There it is. That'll be funny. I'm picking. I'm Can making it sure. a plasma cannon because if you roll a one when you fire with it, he kills himself. That's always funny to see Joe potentially. Did you have not a see me roll? Himself. Like first roll I did with like nothing but ones. Yeah. <laughs> chair. Yeah, the chairs are in that room. Oh, but we're gonna yeah. have to make us. I you know I I bought four chairs and I have no idea where they're at. They've not <laughs> shipped. They're just sitting there and it's in very the concerning from. GT racing or whatever. I guess I'll get them in the new year if we keep harassing them or something. I don't know. There is something scheduled for the 24th. I, I hope it's the chairs. These look really good. Yeah. Thank you. They do. Okay, so one tactical squad, you get 300 points left. Let's put in your dreadnought, Joe. Bah! Thank you. You want the Padre, right? You like you you, you want to make sure this guy's included, Joe? Yep, Padre Fox. He's like, this is for Joe's army. Yeah. So I guess this will be a chaplain. Great job on your movie. Thank you. Did you do this? I didn't do anything. What I wasn't movie? allowed to touch him. So. What, what yeah. movie? Monster Hunter. Oh. <laughs> Good job on your movie. <clears throat> All right. He's going to count as a chaplain. Okay. And you want your dreadnought. You're going to have a dreadnought. The iPad w version of this app is better than the Android version on my iPhone because I can click the individual unit type, like say elites, and it only pulls up the elites. But in the other app, like it pulls up like all the models and you have to like go through everything. It's annoying. Okay, and then uh, fast attack are these guys. Hopefully these guys are fast attack and not elites. They are. All right, so we get two fast attacks. What? Nurgle furries? What? No. <laughs> I got Christmas Nurgle people. Oh, I can't have two of them. You'll see them in a little bit. I think. We've gone over 500 points. So, let's uh, scale some of this back. Well, how many points? Well, why don't you put up a list of mine and see if we can get roughly, and they don't have to be exactly 500. Yeah. Because um, I, need, I need at least... I need Santa Claus. I need. What else do I need? I need sweet baby nurgling Jesus. <laughs> uh, some plague bearers and some nurglings at least. Okay. So, Captain, Chaplain, Tactical, Dreadnought, Assault. And you're, you're good. <coughs> okay, so this is your army right here. Um, unless you tell me that you want Terminators and then. Then we can get you the Terminators because Terminators are extremely powerful, and that might be if you want to win against Alex. Then you My army's bad. Terminators. So, okay. If you don't want to, and this is just Alex? this isn't the actual Christmas battle. This is the training for yes, the Christmas battle. It doesn't count. I have no idea what I'm doesn't doing. Doesn't count. So we won't put your Terminators in. You can see how to play first. All right, sweet. Thank you. We get you, sir. 
Thank you. Big donation there. Big Torval. I know you guys are likely tired about talking this about this by now, but I wanted to ask you, do you think CDPR will bounce back from their disaster and turn things around? Or has the damage already been done enough to sour their reputation indefinitely? Uh, and then Ithras, I missed that one earlier. The gr oh, no, Joe got, got that one. Okay, so as far as that goes, no, I actually think that they can make their way back, and they will make their way back, and they got a taste of something they've never tasted before. Gamer hate. You know what I mean? Like, a in large amounts, right? Because... Everybody kind of they put a little hate on CDPR, you know, cause, just because they're popular and shit. <laughs> um, so you'll get a little bit of that. Nurgle, um, Nurgle Christmas. The Nurgle before Christmas. Yeah, but this is the test army. This isn't the real army. Oh, okay. I'm just going to give it a different name. Oh, so Nurgle. I don't get to use Santa Claus? Nurgle Christmas. No, you might be able to fit Santa Claus in there. He's a little big. Yeah, but he's uh, Joe's got a dreadnought and two HQs. You gotta, you gotta put Santa Claus in there, unless Joe has nothing to take it out, which he probably doesn't. But whatever. Okay, so uh, select a patrol. We're doing Alex's now. Okay, <coughs> are they Chaos Knights, Demon, Death Guard? Fought their Demon, right? Demons, all demons, all the time. Okay. What happened in this All one? Right. So who who leads it? I don't know. It's a plug. I either have Bellacore. No. I've got a great a unclean one. I've got a demon <laughs> prince. Let's go great unclean one or a demon prince. I got great a great unclean one would be more than half your army. It's two hundred eighty points. Two hundred and sixty right? plus you can give him stuff. Yeah. But that's Santa Claus. You saying I can't I have know, Santa Claus? I know, right? I want you to have Santa Claus, but then we gotta let Joe. How many points is it over? It's it's not over. He's still Nothing under. is over. All right, we're going to put Santa Claus in there. It's 260. Okay. So he's got 240 points left. Let's cut him off there. What? Half, <laughs> your, half your points? All right, what are, what are your main forces? Bloodletters, demonettes, whores, nerglings, plague bearers? Whores. Plague bearers and nerglings, and then I also have the demon prince. Oh, well, that should be good. So I got your nerglings. I got your plague bearers. I've got... Let's see how many nerglings do you have. I have three in the list right now. I've got six, but I can use three if it's so a small So I'm going to put nerglings to six. You have 42 points left. How many plague bears do you have? 18. I have uh, 10 in there right now. 10's fine. So I can give you... Okay, well, you have 43 <laughs> points left. How much is spoil pox scrivener? Spoil pox what? Is that, do you know if it's an elite choice? It's an elite troop choice, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. These names don't mean nothing to me, guys. Gucci he, Dragon. He's not he holds there. the Naughty and What's Nice up? list. Oh. <laughs> what are you calling him? I, I think his name's Spoilpox Scrivener. Is it a Beast of Nurgle? No. Okay, well, he's not in there. <laughs> Screamers, singers, health players, flaring, not here. Um, I also have the Demon Prince. If you just want to use a Demon Prince. Oh, it, is it? Maybe he's an HQ choice. Uh, I also have a Feculent Gnarl Maw, but I, I don't know if Feculent Gnarl Maws are free. Spoil, spo, spoil Pox Scrivener? Yes. Okay, he's an HQ choice. He was 100 points, so you're over now by 58. Okay, is, is OJ over? No. Nope. He's exactly 500? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, then we don't have to use, we don't have to use spoil pox. That that's fine. Okay, you are back plus forty two. Um, so put in more plague bearers, or what was the other option? Uh, I've got demon princes. I've got demon prince. Yeah, the demon prince is probably like a hundred points though. Let me check. Oh yeah, demon prince of chaos is one hundred and sixty. He's like fucking a, a beast. Um, do you have any elites fast attacks? No. No elites or fast attacks. I don't think so. Oh, Joe's gonna whoop your ass. Uh, fast attacks? No. Okay. Well, the then in I that won't. case, let's give let's let's give him the thing that he needs, and then let's bring you up by by fifty points, Joe. So we'll, let's bring him. Let's bring the spoil pox scrivener. So now you're over by fifty eight points. 
Oh, wait, spoil box? I think it might it'd be better for me to have more Nurglings. Okay. No, I think you're right. How much? How many points this are Nurglings now? This is just the test 18? one, so, so we're just... We're... Thornator, do you want to get banned? Because I will ban you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Alex owns in this. <laughs> All right, you've got six points left after giving you... Uh, 14 Plague Bearers. Well, one Plague Ridden and 13 Plague Bearers. Do I have a Plague Ridden? I don't know, do you? I don't think so. It, plague Ridden comes, it's like their sergeant, I guess. Okay. What's up, Parmesan Down? Because Nurglings are supposed to be pretty sweet right now. So if I can get up to six Nurglings... But do you want Nurgling Swarms instead? Then Plague Bearers? How many points are the... Extra plague bearers versus nerglings. Nerglings are six points, so you can actually have one more nergling, and you made it exactly. Wait, wait. What? Okay, four nerglings and fourteen plague bearers. Wait, I'm sorry, no, they're eighteen points apiece. Which one do you like better, nerglings or plague bearers? Um, I think the plague bearers are probably better because if I have to have ten or more before they get the special, like disgustingly resilient thing. Yeah. Man, these all got ripped off. Okay, let's see if he the great unclean tight. one. Yeah, the guy that packaged and packaged them pretty tight. He used duct tape. Can you me his paper towels over there? Somewhere? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah, want you know, a plague flail on try. your on? Um, what's his face on the Santa guy? He has a sword and flail. He has the great sword and flail. He's a you bile want? sword, uh, huh? right? And he want? has the plague uh, flail. That's correct. The plague flail is ten <laughs> points, so n now you are over by four. I'll give him those four points. You'll He's going to the need them. Right. Yeah. Now, we're done with Alex. We're done with Joe. Now, what, what Alex needs to pick is his uh, allegiance. Uh, Corn, Nurgle, obviously Nurgle. Nurgle. So choose sub faction Nurgle, and right, that so crashed the app. So I need Santa Claus. I need four Nurglings. <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus. Uh, you need six Nurglings. Sick. And. 14 uh, plague bearers, but one of them is supposed to be a plague. 14? Yeah, 14. All right. All right, Joe, uh, we have the big job of clearing yeah, this Yeah, I was table. looking over here. I don't know where to put them. I don't know where to put them either. I will start finding space over here. I'm gonna put my golden boys over here. I'll put these down here. Okay, yeah, if you can clear some of that terrain shit, maybe even just pull it out, I guess. Where does that go? What is that? I keep shocking everything, Joe. I don't know what it is. Ah, welcome to my life. It's a little concerning because, like, it is, it is actually created from something I'm wearing. Maybe the, the wireless headset, or I don't know. It's my daily life, so. You drag your feet everywhere. You're. I do dragger. not drag my feet. You and Alex say that, but I don't. One of these days, I don't have to teach OJ how to do this so he can start fixing him. That'll I could fun. do it. He just said not to touch those because those are his pride. Yeah, no, I don't want Joe touching my golden boys. <laughs> it's golden girls. Golden boys. Golden girls, Joe, you want to call your faction the golden girls? That's fine. These They're are the, the best. Boys. 
If you call them the Golden Girls, I'm gonna crush you, Joe. In the game. Yo, I'm never lost. I ain't never lost with my golden boys. You're gonna cry whenever the golden girls beat yes, you. Yes, I will. I, I already said if you beat that faction, I will cry. On camera. I'll record every second and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Savage. Do you have that in you, Joe? Would you really laugh at me? No. <laughs> Too nice. Somewhere safe, don't touch anything but the base. We're just putting them all over there, sir. So. Okay. What, put OJ's the golden boy. All right, yeah. Joe, can you put my, my Night Lords where... Oh, Alex, if you're doing something, this guy fell off his base. Okay. It's just they fell off their base. What? Can't believe you get to watch a movie star beat me and Warhammer. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Who's a movie star? Me? Joe? Tony Jaw. OJ, a.k.a. Oh, Tony right. Jaw. Evil Santa versus the Nacho Army. I would watch that movie Joe. though. <laughs> yeah, I would. You know, I tried to watch that the Amazon movie that's got the box art of Santa versus Krampus. It was terrible. I bet. They saved that battle between Krampus and Santa at the, for the very, of very course. end. Try it. And it was only like five minutes of battle. It was like less than two, two minutes of battle. That's what happened with uh, the Python versus uh, Komodo Dragon. Because so, at the very end, it was like they died in five seconds. It's like all this for nothing. Watch terrible acting. Just want to see a battle. Yeah. That's how they get you. They get me every time. Oh, Alex, dude. The most expensive army I own is Alex's, and it came in. So... Alex will lose this battle, but these two boxes hold fucking beast boys. Now, the Death Guard uh, Codex has been delayed, so it'll get even more powerful. These two boxes. <laughs> that was annoying. And these were professionally painted by a, a, a paint studio that I hired, so they're probably going to be among our best looking models, and I'm excited to open those, but. I want to open everything on this single stream, so we'll open those later. He has Mortarion, which is his prime arc. And as you know, they're sort of like the gods of that particular faction on the battlefield. Really Not cool obviously model. the god. The god means. is Nurgle. He, he's a dude. He's got all these like cool chains and little Nurglings all over him. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and they've chains. been leaking some of the rules uh, for for the... Death Guard and they are powerful. It's like if you're next to them, you get like negative one toughness, which is what I was banking on. I was trying to buff my toughness, <coughs> and Alex just automatically counters it. Because they smell so bad, they smell like poop. Poop. Alex's <laughs> forces smell like poop. That you just cannot stand being right next to them. Good thing oh, my, and I got my you this uh, custom army can't converted smell. Nurgle Chaos Lord. That's sweet. That's oh sweet. no! What'd you do? Oh no! That guy keeps falling over. Stop breaking things. You don't find space for those two epic armies, right, Joe? And luckily, my 500-point map just came in. So we can get the exact dimensions without having to mark it with annoying tape. Oh, comes GameMap.eu. Hell yeah, man. These guys are the best in the industry. Boom. 
What is that? That was not me. So we'll unroll that later, and I will add the terminal. Now the question is, can you be signed in? Can you, can, can one of your Warhammer friends buy the Warhammer app? Yes, and true. And then everybody sign in with his account, like Joe likes to do. No way. Share his password. How do you know? You've never done it. Uh, we've never done it, but I've, we, we know enough about Games Workshop that they <laughs> that don't. That's not going to be allowed. I would be shocked. Joe, but download thrilled. the app on your phone real quick. 40K app. Okay. Alex released the what? I can't release nothing. These are falling apart. Y oh, is yes. it me? Yeah, you... Whoa, those are so cool. I've not actually seen those yet. <laughs> no one has seen them. Wow. Man, that army is cool. I only get to play them this week, so... <laughs> Right, no, the, the, until the end of the month. Christmas is every day. In, Only at, uh, what's uh, the Did you bring that guy too? No, this is okay. uh, magnetized. Okay. Hopefully. I'm going to be it here is, for an hour fixing this It is shit. magnetized. Children, children. I like the saturation level on that. That's real bright. It pops. Yeah, what, which one side do you want to play on? This dark one or this one? That one. Which one has more snow? This, this one kind of looks a little snowy. It's, or it's Christmas time, OJ. Is this it? One it's like 80 degrees out will there. It's good to have oh. your forces pop. Hello. Wow. GameMat.eu, guys. Simply the best. Better than all the rest? Better than all the rest. The best. A man can... Did they break both sides of this one? They did. Holy shit. That sucks. But you can fix it. Yeah. It's just fiddly. <laughs> Louis, what do you mean? What are you cooking with avocados? What are they making? He's talking about avocado, actually. But what I gotta download? What's it called, Alex? Warhammer 40k yeah. uh, app. Stop in Warhammer 40k Forge. app. Yeah. No, no, you click here. The Your uh, version of eggnog? Mmm, delicious. Did you put it in the microwave? Yeah, you can microwave it. Ray's back. Ray! I was giving you a run for your money. Rolled nothing but ones, my first try. I did it. What'd you do? Break something? 
download the app. There you go. Mm -hmm. ah. The random. Are you breaking something, Joe? No, I'm not doing anything. Got to sign in. Got to create an account. Oh, stupid. Good chat. I don't know. Enough terrain. I think it's enough terrain for this example game. What's up? No. What kind of madman? Me. This is bad. Everything you're doing. I want you to notice. Okay, got it. There's no way this holds, we'll see. Maybe it won't. They are, Rain. They are. Load those bad boys up. Me too, Locust Prime. What are you talking about? Load who bad boys up for So I can put them up. Pull up. What, are these, what goes on these? That Why one? are these here? Well, then what goes on that? I don't know. Joe, to get those epics and put them under. What? Well, that's what he's those doing. Let's go with those. Did anything go on this? I don't know. I can't find it. Okay. Well, I have to fix the other one, so you take those for now. Do I get a webway? Webway? Yep. Do you get a webway? Yep. You're the a Space Marines, Joe. I still want one. <laughs> a webway? I think that's an Eldar thing. Not a Necron thing. If that's what you're thinking. Uh oh. Glue's gone. Two tape measures, we got one here, and one over here. I'm shocking everything. Damn it. Only electronics. Yep, yeah, I heard.
Flippy, thank you so much for your biddies. Ready to slay? It's slaying time. <laughs> I do have a slay. I do have a nerd will slay somewhere. I just Clive have... 95. You do where? Uh, I haven't, it's not here yet. Aww. I don't, it doesn't fit the army yet. So I actually don't have a, a demon's book. I think demons have their own book, huh? They do. I have it at home. God damn it. Always with the pawns, Flippy. Keep them coming. <laughs> Let's fix this later. We've been off the base station no more. This is okay. good. Let's get Are right you here. hungry? Every day. Every day of my life. Did you bring any tamales? No. No, I... The last of the tamales were eaten last night. But you said you had buckets. Buckets. Yeah, and you know how many I've been eating? <laughs> OJ's been also eating all of them, too. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a good one, Ray. I like it. Mm. He says demons have their own cookbook. It's, it's called a Necron Nom 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 Nom. Nomicon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well... What's that? You want a forfeit? No win. No Christmas present for you then. What? What did I do? But they're like bombs, aren't they? Alright. Well, here's a good thing. We got all the forces set up. And we've selected our forces. So now the only thing is to actually set up the... Uh, pick a mission and set up the map. Um... For a small game like this, I'm going to have to look to see what we would want to do. I it's too Matt much pressure, pick, Weird I Fox. I let Matt pick the mission last time. So I'm actually going to take my time. Ain't nobody going to rush me on this. That's why I was asking. You guys... Why can this not be <clears throat> Does this not work? They're all gonna die. You're all going to die up here. Uh, what? Hmm? You're all gonna die up here? Well, yeah, because we're not going down. When you're single. <laughs> uh, I gotta watch what I say around here. Forget. So, I realized some deficiencies. I don't have um, demon data cards and demon codex. So, and I want to do this right. So our only option is we can go to Alex's house. We can get his codex. Um, I'm going to place an order on Amazon to see, is there demon cards? What's the demon codex called? Demon codex? The Daemons of Nurgle, I think. Daemon. The Parmesan Don, thank you so much. Needed one. I hate when the sides get fluffy. I need that fade. Aha, uh -huh. Chaos Daemons. Currently unavailable. The great unclean one is $120. Damn. Look at him! He's Santa Claus. He's fucking awesome. What are you talking about Currently me? Like, what? I know I ate some tamales, but come on. <laughs> I mean, I own the Codex, so I mean, we could just... Just, get... just get it. We need to get you it. You want me to go get it? But don't leave yet, because I'm. we could nail multiple birds with one stone. What I'm looking for is, is was there data cards? I think I have cardboard little cutout things, but that's different. I don't think I've got the... Yeah, there is, and it's on Prime. Free delivery, December 24th. Damn, why don't I have this already? I might have it downstairs in my room. Let me go check. 
So as we got these cards, I got Imperial Guard, Harlequins, Astro, Tyranids, Salamanders, Necrons. Salamanders. Oh shit, Salamanders. Ow. You can use these, Joe. We do need to do a magic thing. Magic. I actually just went magic to uh, Johnny's new place, the, the new restaurant that he's working at for lunch with Will. Today? We were talking about magic, yeah. How'd it go? My oh, place is delicious. So he hooked us up. Right. Let's see if I've got this in there. I okay. had a double Three bacon days. cheddar I got a pastrami Jesus. burger with latkes and poutine fries. And oh man. What color are your dice? What color are my dice? Yes. What are you talking about? What color have... dice are you use? I don't know. Red and white. Why Why not? How many dice do we usually need? How many do I need? Well, I need more than you. Just cause. Probably ten. Let's give you more. Find them? It's like extra. No, I don't have the data for it. Um, I mean, we can go and see if they've got them. I mean, I live right next to Wonko's. I can go to Wonko's, grab them, and grab my codex on the way back. Okay. Because it's within one exit. Yes. Yeah. I call dibs on not driving. Let me uh, let me call what? them first. We don't want to go there if they That's don't true. have it. Okay, we're going to roll on this. No. Why oh. not? Because it's more fun to like record the dice... All over the map. You hit map. something. No, it's boring to have it in the same spot all the time. Ray, I finished I my popper deck uh, with the new Kumbaj witches. Man, uh, the said McKinnon. Oh, um, is there another map? This doesn't sound like map. Hey, I was just wondering, uh, do you have? It doesn't sound like you. All right, do you have a uh, the what is it? Nervous. Chaos Nervous. Damon. Cards. Not Nurgle. N n the, n the Chaos Demon data cards and the Chaos Demon uh, codex. Ask them if they deliver. <laughs> <laughs> and OJ says, do you deliver? <laughs> oh, now you sound like you. What the hell? You're all professional customer service voice, gotcha. Sweet. I will, uh, I'm gonna say, we're gonna come down there and buy it. We, we're, we're streaming right now, actually, in the middle. <laughs> you hear me, Alex? Oh, no. Matt! You hear me, Matt? I'm gonna get you! I got my golden boys, dude. I got an ad Adaptus Custodes never lost. You are so dead. He's at work. Don't bother him. <laughs> Don't want to bother him at work. Hey, I'm buying something. I'm a purchasing customer. <laughs> All right. Well, wait, did you, you just sent me a text. You said you, you might not be able to make it next Sunday or something. Yeah, this is the mat. This is the mat. Our mat. Mm hmm. The one who destroyed Matt. Okay. Who knows yeah. No problem. Just whenever you, whenever you can. But this is the best mat. All right, talk well, to you later. later. <laughs> All right, bye. Who's got him? <laughs> Motherfucker, you gonna lose? Yeah, he's got both of them. Cause I want to buy the codex too. Uh, you know, to have it in my black library. Okay. So it's not black. It's not a black library. Black library pertains to the actual I'll novels call it for and you. stuff. Yeah. But I call it the black library. All right, so are we going? Yeah, we're going. All of us? Well, I could actually have some extra time you to set You can set everything up, up and yeah. we can go do this real quick. I'll just, I'll just shoot you some PayPal. Oops. Bye. Bye, chat. Do you want anything else while we're And up? charge batteries. Uh, are y'all going to get something to eat? I'm stuffed. You know, I don't need to eat for three days. So. <laughs> Joe, are you hungry? Uh, do y'all want to stop by like Panda or do you want to do, no? Okay, what do you want to do? Would you like to do burgers? Um, what are you feeling like? 
Burgers? Why? Well, well, no, no, you said no. I haven't had it in you a while. cursed it. All right. Well, you you know what I want, right? Is the double orange? White rice. All right. All right, gents. So we're gonna set up for this battle. I didn't think that we would do the battle right away, but we're gonna do the battle right away and get a practice game. That way, they know what they're doing uh, when they play the real one. So I'm gonna turn this off, charge these batteries. Why did this come out? Oh, weird. That doesn't have the attachment. Let's get one of these mics that has the attachment. And how, if it's a good enough battle, we might be able to just do this, you know? Put this battle up. And then just call the next one a rematch. You know what I mean? So, how can I be helpful to Joe? Well, I've got the Salamander data cards. I've got the Space Marine data cards. Joe's going to need the most help. So, I think the Space Marine cards replace the Salamander cards, but... Because the salamanders don't have their own codex yet from the space marine, I can still use some stratagems. I'm not 100% certain on that. But if Joe just has to use the generic space marine stratagems, that's fine too. It's better than using no stratagems or, or old stratagems or something like that. So let me sort the cards. See, I just shocked the whole thing and it actually... God, and that's another thing. 2021, we're definitely going to need to fix that. Okay. Y'all are talking about uh, McDonald's versus BK. If I had to choose, I like Burger King's burgers better than McDonald's, but McDonald's fries better than Burger King's fries. So they both serve a place for me. What do you guys think? Ray, you're still here, sweet. The Demon Codex does not have a code for the app. It's an 8th edition. I know that, Grimlock. You have to wait for a ninth edition. So, Command Reroll. This is a card that Joel is going to need to know about. So, we'll leave that out. Objective Taken Whole. We don't need that. Twist. We don't need any twists. Transhuman Physiology. When a Primaris unit in, is, in your army is selected. Well, Joe is using Classic Marines, so he's not having any of those. Honor the Chapter. Assault Intercessor Squad. Well, he doesn't have any Intercessors. So GW is definitely encouraging trying to get you to buy some of the new models. This stratagem in your command phase, if a warlord from your army is on the battlefield and coming to is active, select one core unit on the battlefield until each time a model makes an attack, it is considered active for that attack. Okay, he'll want that. Steady advance, infantry, your army makes a normal move. They are considered to have remained stationary. That's not very helpful for his army, but I'll put it there anyway. Um... And these are two command points. They only have one command point. In this stratagem, in your shooting phase, select one infantry unit from that army performing an action. That unit can shoot this phase without that action failing. What do you mean, failing? I don't understand that one. Do y'all guys understand this one? Select an infantry unit. And then from your army that is performing an action. Oh, action. Like, say if they were raising the banners. No, we're not going to use raise the banners. So we don't need... I thought it was auto hits. Because I was like, what? That, that would be sweet. But no, it's just like an action. There's certain things that do an action. Skilled riders. Joe doesn't have any riders. Jump packs. Select one enemy within roll of d6. Uh, each... It suffers one mortal wound. Ooh, Hammer of Wrath. Joe can use this sweet-ass Hammer of Wrath on his uh, assault guys, his mariachis. So this is the mariachi command stratagem. Hit and run. Well, he doesn't have any bikers or speeders. Apothecary. He doesn't have any of those. Chaplain. Yeah, he's got a chaplain. 
Epic Deed, Dreadnought. Yeah. Joe's, Joe is going to crush Alex, guys. Seriously. I'm going to give him all this extra help. I want Joe to win. Because I want Joe to win the most. Because honestly... Alex... I know Alex... Maybe I should be more concerned about Alex. Alex doesn't like to lose. But I just want Joe to win. Because then Joe can hold it over Alex. And then that will make Alex play again. And then Alex will be like... I'm going to beat you this time. Because then Alex will go all... Go all mega hard with his new army. That sounds bad. Fury of the First. In the shooting phase, uh, he's got Firstborn, so this will be good. Until the end of the phase, each time... Uh, it's like to, to oh, that's for Terminators. He doesn't have any Terminators. Hero of the chapter. Relic of the chapter. Aircraft targeting. It, it, are any of Alex's monster units? Maybe his Santa is a monster unit? This could help him if it's a monster unit. Melt a bomb, assault launcher. So this is the kind of stuff that you're you're doing to prepare for a game. It's a lot, but it's fun, you know. It, it you know building a little bit before the the game orbital bombardment. I shouldn't give Joe this option, but he'll have this option because it costs three command points, which is all. All of his command points since it's a patrol. Insane bravery, automatically plus morale. Counter offensive is good. Fire overwatch is good. Emergency disembarkation does not work because he doesn't have anything. Cut them down. No. Suppressing fire. No. No. Uh, Joe doesn't have any psychers, so none of these psychers will work. He doesn't have any librarians, so none of these librarians will work. Litany. He does have... He actually does have a chaplain, so he's going to need to use all these chaplains. So this is a lot, but I kind of want to overwhelm Joe just a little bit. So he sees, because the Necrons, I think, are even more bookkeepy, bookkeeping-like than the Space Marines. Okay, so if I grab the core rule book. All right, let me end this stream and then because I want to make nice little tight streams.